Good morning, guys. Thanks for coming by and watching another wax video haul of mine. I thought I'd start off with an L3 wax haul today. I have one more haul for later. Of course, I have a hair stuck on me. Um, <clears throat> this is including a haul that I just received and then just one loaf from a couple weeks ago that I never really showed just because it was a lonely loaf. So um, let's get into it. I'll go first with the loaf that is from July and it was just all by itself. And this was Boardwalk Mallow Clouds Don't Cross Streams. I've already melted a tiny bit of it there. This one, I didn't know. I had smelled uh, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds before, but I had never smelled the Don't Cross Streams. And it is a bakery vanilla scent, but I asked on her Facebook page. Sorry, I'm going to, whenever my hair is down, I play with it like crazy. That's why it's always up in a bun. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> anyway, a lot of people asked, I asked people about what Don't Cross Dreams was and how it was. And everyone said it was an amazing bakery vanilla scent of hers. And so I thought, eh, that sounds good to, you know, to be mixed with Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. And it is. I melted this. Oh, and it's so good. It's, and it's pretty strong. I usually find that Boardwalk Mallow Clouds is kind of a lighter scent, but mixed with this Don't Cross Dreams, I'm not sure if it was L3's owner that made this blend or if it was a custom from someone else but that don't cross streams the bakery vanilla um, scent that is mixed with the mallow cloud it really just enhances the base of that mallow cloud scent to me in my opinion so this is something i would absolutely get again like i said i melted it and it was like an eight out of ten really really good just nice warm fluffy mallow perfume like marshmallow perfume as we all say with marshmallow clouds really really good that's a great representation of marshmallow clouds of boardwalk marshmallow clouds and like i said the don't cross streams just adds to the base of it and it just smells so good okay so the rest of this um is just one one other haul and i ordered this let's see i have my little paper here well it doesn't have the date that i ordered it but last week. Today's August 11th, I believe. My phone's up there. <laughs> it's recording. So um, today's August 11th. I believe I ordered this last week. Um, she'd had a um, restock and I, of course, was late to it. I feel like I'm always late to L3's restocks. There's other uh, vendors that I'm always on time for their restocks and I just can never get on time to L3's restocks. I don't know why. So I got kind of, I got some ones that I wanted, but there was definitely some that I didn't get to grab because it just wasn't there by the time I got there, but that's okay. So um, let me start off with the samples that she sent. I got two little bags of samples. The first little sample that I got is a little bunny in Riverbank. And I'm glad I got this because I've been wanting to smell what Riverbank smelled like by itself because it's always blended with things. And it's different than I thought it was gonna smell. It's definitely more driftwoody. It, there's definitely like a woodsy smell to it, but it smells really good. It's a very, it is aquatic. I feel like it's, it's not quite masculine, but it's slightly masculine, but there's like a dry woodsy aspect to it, uh, but I really like it. So cupboard under the stairs is in a little gingerbread man. Oh, is this cupboard under the stairs like Harry Potter cupboard under the stairs? It smells sweet. It's it's not a fresh scent. There might be some spices in it. Hmm. It smells bakery to me. I'm not sure what's in it, but it smells really good. I like that one. Hmm. I think this little guy might be able to be cut in two pieces because he's pretty big. It smells really good. Okay, and then Winter Snooze is the another sample that she sent. And I think I think L3 is the one that makes the snooze button scent. Am I wrong? I hope I'm not. And so this is probably just an added, it smells very pepperminty, some lavender, maybe some pink sugar in there. Another little gingerbread guy. I don't know if there's just added peppermint to it or what the winter snooze is. I'm not sure. Because I don't smell any like pine or woods or anything. But it smells really good. Definitely like a nighttime lavender pink sugar blend. And she sent one more little baggie of samples. <clears throat> Three more little ones. Strawberry watermelon gain in a little like van kind of shape. Like, let me see. Is that a van? <laughs> RV. Hmm. 
I smell the game, strawberry watermelon game. The watermelon smells like candy. I can maybe smell that strawberry with the watermelon. It smells good. It smells like laundry detergent mixed with wa watermelon candy. <laughs> so it smells pretty good. Next one is Bombshell, uh, Victoria or VC type, Blonde Moment and Boardwalk Mall of Clouds in this little kind of donut shape. Hmm, that smells really good. I feel like I mostly get that Blonde Moment with a touch of the other things. I get a touch of the, the um, Bombshell um, perfume type and just a barely a whiff of that Boardwalk Mall of Clouds but the blonde moment's pretty strong. I like that one. Not one I'd probably buy or get a ton of, but I like it. Okay, and then confetti sprinkles, sugar cookie dough, and strawberry sugar. This is the last sample. Hmm. I think I smell, I mean, I don't know what these separate confetti sprinkles, sugar cookie dough, I guess I know what sugar cookie dough smells like, but, and strawberry sugar, but I am imagining that I'm getting mostly the strawberry sugar. Hmm. That smells really fun. Um, not one I'd get like a huge amount of, but I might get a couple like shapes or small amount in that. Yeah. It smells really fun. Okay. So funny enough, I got that sample. Oh, sorry. I just kicked the table. I got that sample in Riverbank, but I also wanted to smell it by itself. So I got this Trig Tart. I had no idea these things were this big. They are hefty. They are pretty big. I was pretty, uh, thrown, thrown, thrown thrown by that. Sorry, I was reading at the same time. So this Trig Tart was only three bucks and it feels pretty big. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think they said it was three ounces of wax, but this one's just in Riverbank. Sorry, the door just shut. And you know, same scent as I said, it smells like a woodsy, like a dry kind of driftwood. Shh. Sorry, my son. Kind of a dry driftwood, slightly aquatic. Maybe this one smells a little bit more masculine. Like a, it's almost cologne, but not quite cologne. I like it. I don't think I'd get a ton more of it. It'd be really good in blends, but it's nice. It's really nice. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, this is not wax, but people were going on and on about her dry oil. <clears throat> and I think I got the smaller version of it that doesn't spray, but I, th I think this is the four ounce version of it. This is the B Lux dry oil with the flip top. Cause I think the bigger one that you get has a spray on the top. This is the sweet on Paris type. And I, I love sweet on Paris. So I was excited that she did this. Um, I think she only had in this size, like four, maybe six different scents. Um, Cause she wanted to be able to make, she, I think she gave an option on her Facebook page. Do you want to do more scents? where I'll not be able to make as many, or should I make less sense to be able to make more to get everyone their oil? And I think everyone said, make less sense so everyone can get their oil. Oh, and this smells like Sweet on Paris. It smells so good. I wanted this because I love Sweet on Paris in body care and home fragrance. I love it both. So we'll have to see how that, how that goes. I'm pretty sure when I was reading the ingredients, the main ingredient was coconut oil for this dry oil, and coconut oil does not always play well with my skin. So, um, we'll have to see, I'll have to update on Instagram, <clears throat> my Instagram, uh, how that works for me, but I'm excited about that. Okay. The next one that I'm really excited about is Sea Witch Swimming Pool. And the reason why I'm so excited about this is I love the smell of swimming pools. I love the smell of chlorine. I love the smell of like fountains. I don't know why. I just love that aquatic chlorine smell. And this is in the two pack bunts in this, uh, bluish green color. And, um, I get in this, this is the sea witch swimming pool. So I'm not, is that two cents together? I get a lot of salty sea air in this. Don't get me wrong. This smells really good. It's very aquatic, very just fresh, but it's not super strong smelling. Uh, let's see. It doesn't have a pour date on here, but maybe it just needs to sit for a little bit, but these are so pretty. <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm not necessarily getting a chlorine or a swimming pool scent, but maybe I need to get the swimming pool by itself. Unless that's one scent. I should have researched this. I'm sorry, but I'm mostly getting salty sea air to my nose. So we'll have to see, I'll have to look it up and I'll have to see, but it smells, it smells really, I like salty sea air. So it smells really good. 
Then next up, I got one of her beautiful cloud cakes. They're so pretty. This one is in pumpkin, pecan, waffles, mac, apple, and pie crust. A little bit of fall in this order. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. I think it's orange. Orange and white. Mm -hmm. So I first I get the mac apple. Mac apple is just a really strong oil. Then I do get a touch of the pumpkin pecan waffles. And there might be pie crust in there to sweeten it up, but I'm not smelling that singularly. Isn't that beautiful? I'm glad I got this. I love this size of uh, like to get to try new scents in because you can get a good four plus six maybe melts out of this. And this, um, let's see, the cloud cakes are 3.2 plus ounces, it says, and it's three dollars and ten cents. So not too bad. You're not out too much money if you don't like that scent. And they're beautiful. So I really like the cloud cakes. And then I got two scoops. So the first one I got, I had never smelled before, but then the notes in it or the, the oils in it, I have smelled before and I was really excited to get this one. So this is called Top Gun. <clears throat> and this is clean steel, high and tight barbershop, haircuts and crisp linens. Mm. Does that not sound amazing? What? So, shh, Andre. Seriously. So, you know, stainless steel, probably shaving a haircut and crisp linens. So, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I definitely get stainless steel. I definitely get shaving a haircut and linens. I get all of those. And if there's more in there, I'm sure there might be more in there because high and tight barbershop haircuts might be a blend of like shaving a haircut and something else. I'm not sure. There might be barbershop 1920s, but I'm not smelling it too much. If there is, definitely smelling the stainless steel and the shaving a haircut. Holy freaking moly. So glad I got this scoop. That is so good. And of course she sent her little scooper spoon. I loved her, the shape of the spoon and like the slickness of it is so perfect for her scoops. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got that. Really fresh. This is going to be going in my room like all day, every day. Okay, and then one um, I have never smelled before, but parts of it I have. So this is pink berry tonka bean, bean, strawberry pound cake, boardwalk mallow clouds, and whipped cream. I've always wanted to smell pink berry tonka by itself. Hmm. I first get strawberry pound cake. Then Mallow Clouds. I can't say I can pick out exactly what the Pink Berry Tonka Bean is by itself. But Strawberry Pound Cake is definitely the strongest. And it doesn't disappoint me because I love Strawberry Pound Cake. So. But once again, Pink Berry Tonka Bean. It's the way it's broken up on here. Strawberry Pound Cake, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, and Whipped Cream. Really glad I got that one because that smells really good. I'm Maybe on Warm I'll be able to smell that different note and be able to kind of, you know, uh, categorize it as that pink berry tonka bean, but I want to smell that by itself, um, someday. So that's my small little haul from L3. I love her wax, especially her scoops and her loaves. I feel like do the very best with throw. Um, they almost always throw. Sometimes the bunts don't do super well for me. I don't know why, cause I'm sure it's all the same wax that she just pours in different shapes. Um, but I love those. I'm excited to try this dry oil. Um, I'm sorry. I wish I had more information about the Sea Witch swimming pool and what those notes are. Maybe I'll find them and put them down below once the video uploads. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys have any favorite L3 scents or any information on the scents that I talked about, please put it down below. I'd appreciate your help. She has so many scents and names of scent combinations that I, it's a lot for me to keep straight. So if you guys have more of that in your head, let me know. L3 is a little bit newer to me compared to some of the other vendors that I've ordered from. So help a girl out if you know some of those, um, those scent notes. Thanks for coming to watch. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay well.